Hi everyone, welcome to another tutorial video. In our today's video, I will go over how to get the intersection, how to merge, how to dissolve, and how to get the difference between two polygons in Python by using GeoPandas. So let's get it started. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these two shape files that I created, which contains a rectangle and a triangle. So let's go to Jupyter, Jupyter Notebook, and let's create a new Jupyter Notebook. Let's name it as a um, Jupandas. Features. And here, let's import first the location of the file by using the library OS. which is this one over here. Let's copy. Then let's import the libraries that we are going to use in this video. The first one will be your pandas as a GPD. Also, we're gonna use pandas as PD. We're going to import uh, mat uh, plotlib to do some plots. As PLT, and uh, we're gonna save the figures in the um, in the Jupyter notebook. So let's put this matplotlib in line. So now let's read the polygons. So the first one will be a rectangle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use geopandas. There is a function called read file. And those are shape files. So let's specify the location of the uh, shape file. Let's go back to the folder. Let's enter to this. So it's in shape files, shaped uh, shape files. And here it uh, it's called this one over here. So let me just copy and paste the name. So now what we can do is type rectangle head and we can see that this is the first polygon. Let's do the same thing with the other one, which is a triangle, read file. And over here, I'm going to specify the same location and it's called triangle. Let's plot the first row. Okay, so you can see here, this is the geometry, uh, the, col the column that contains the geometry. And uh, there is another column called ID. Uh, in the case of rectangle is zero, and the case, in the case of the triangle is none. So now let's, um, let me plot the polygons. So plotting um, polygons, just to let you know. So let's create this figure um, quickly over here. PLT, subplots, fig size equal to comma six um, rectangle which is the first polygon that plot let's plot it in the edges that we just created and um, let me with uh, Zorder I will be able to put the the first polygon in the back, let me specify the color royal blue, a uh, royal royal blue, and let me just copy and paste this line here. It will be triangle 
and I'm gonna put it in front. That's why I, uh, I use one. And here, let's change this one by Indian red. Let's show the figure. So you can see here, um, so order zero, which is in the back, is the rectangle. In front, um, I, I put the triangle. So now what we, can, what we are gonna do, we are going to um, compute the intersections between these two figures by using uh, GeoPandas. So let's do the intersection. So let's create a new variable called um, intersection. And we're gonna pass the first polygon and then we're gonna use the word intersection and within the parentheses, this is a Jupenda's function. So you can see here, uh, this is a function. Uh, once you pass the first um, polygon here within the parentheses, you need to specify the second one. So now it basically computed the inter intersection. What I'm gonna do is I'm just going to plot the results here. It will be intersection. Um, we don't need this order. We're just going to plot that specific polygon. And over here, let's um, change the color to C green. So now you can see this over here will be the intersection of the two polygons. And here you got the intersection. intersection. So now if you want to save the, this specific shape file um, that you generated by using your pandas, so you can pass um, the polygon that you just created and use the function to file and specify the location. So in this case, I'm just going to save this shape file in uh, this folder. So now if I go back to my folder, so I can see that I just created this folder intersection and I save the shape file in that specific um, folder. Perfect, so let's go back and now let's uh, merge the two polygons. So let's merge the two polygons, in this case, I'm going to use, I'm going to create this variable, combined um, polygons. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a function from your pandas called, um, so geo data frame. So what I'm basically doing here is creating a new data frame. Um, but it's not gonna be like a regular data frame that we know that we already know the, that we create and use in pandas. Here will be a specific data frame that contains uh, geolocations. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the function from pandas called concat to concatenate the two polygons. So rectangle, comma triangle. And over here, I'm going to let the, the uh, you pandas know uh, that I don't want to, uh, I just want to ignore the indices of each of the polygons. So now let's, um, let me, So now if I run this, so uh, let me find rectangle, triangle, I put this parenthesis here and I need to close. So concat, um, ignoring the indices, no. Now you can see here that I just combined the polygons. So the first one correspond to rectangle and you can uh, easily recognize because of the, if we go back, so you can see the ID is zero and the other one is none. 
So the second one is going to be uh, the triangle. So now what if I want to name those um, those two rows? So what I can do is create a specific um, column that contains the labels. So let's in the row zero, let's create a new column called labels and let's save the name. So that will be the rectangle. And let's copy this line over here and let's do the same thing for the second row, which is the index number one. And now if I take a look at to the new data frame that we uh, or the modification that we did. So you can see here the columns, uh, the column called labels and which specify each of the, the, um, the figures. So now what we can do is let's go back, let's copy this and let's take a look at to the results. Let's combine polygons. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plot um, a column called labels. And let's also plot the, the legend to differentiate the two polygons. And let's use a specific um, range of colors, in this case, uh, cool and uh, warm, warm. So now you can see here clearly the rectangle is the blue one and the red one is the triangle. So let's continue with the, if, again, if you want to save the, the, um, the new data frame uh, as a shape file, so you can easily use the function to file. Let's continue with um, dissolving. So let's dissolve those two polygons. So what I'm going to do, as you already know here, so we just created this combination of two, of two polygons. Um, and we saved the two polygons in just one data frame. So now what we are going to do is we are going to dissolve, uh, sorry, dissolve those two polygons. But in this case, in order to dissolve them, so we need to create a column, a new column. So let's call it dissolve. And here I'm going to just save at one. So what I'm doing here is um, creating this column called dissolve and putting just ones in uh, each of the rows. So now I can uh, tell your pandas to dissolve the polygons based on these columns. So now what I can do is let's create a new variable, dissolve. And now let's call the combine polygons. Let's use the function dissolve. And here we're going to dissolve this by, so let's call the column, which is the dissolve column based on this. So now, as you can see, I can also just put head. There's just one row. Um, so you can see that uh, a new polygon was created. And now is this you have this polygon. Uh, it automatically saves just the, the first um, data. So in this case, the ID and the labels for the first um, row. But this polygon contains uh, the rectangle and also the triangle and it basically dissolved this shape. So now what we can do is just copy and paste this over here just to take a look at to the results. Um, and let's, let me just delete this. We just have one column. So let's just color So now you can see here that the rectangle and the triangle were dissolved. 
So this is the output. Again, you can save it by using the, you can save this shape file by using the function to file and specifying the location. So now let's finally, let's compute the difference between those two polygons. So let's create a new, um, a new variable in here. Let's use the function difference. First, let's pass the first polygon and then the other one. And again, a new data frame is basically created with the polygons. And what we can do here is plot the results. So you have the rectangle and what you basically did you pass first the rectangle, which is the, this rectangle, uh, this one over here, this one. And then, so you are computing the difference. Um, so you are erasing the triangle polygon that is um, overlapping, overlapping the rectangle. So that's why you get this polygon and this polygon. Um, and the, this part of the triangle was deleted that was overlaid with the rectangle. So now we can do the other way around. So we can um, create like another variable erased uh, polygon number two. And now instead of the rectangle, so let's pass the triangle and then the, re the rectangle. And now let's use the same code just to plot the results. So now you can see, now you have your triangle and you are deleting the, um, the, the part of the triangle that is uh, overlapping with that rectangle. So this is the difference. So now you can see clearly um, how to um, get the intersection between two polygons, how to merge and dissolve two polygons and how to get the difference between two polygons by using GeoPandas um, and also pandas here in Python.